21st of May, 1940, brought more bad news to the Allies as the Germans conducted another major river crossing, that of the Scheldt, not far from the French border. And this day saw two soldiers of the retreating BEF or in VCs. First at Briel, which is just south of Tournai, the second Norfolk's tribe failed to prevent a German breakthrough. Seeing that his company's right flank was in danger, Company Sergeant Major George Gristock quickly gathered a party of eight men to try to destroy a freshly positioned German machine gun. Making the final advance on it alone, he was spotted by a different German gun and hit, being grievously wounded in both legs. Nevertheless, he got himself into a position from where he was able to see and take out the German gun crew that he'd been seeking. After this, he dragged himself back to his company's main position and insisted on remaining with them until the right flank's position had been secured. Company Sergeant Major Gristock had started his 21-year army career at the age of 14 in the Queen's Bays, the same regiment in which his father and three brothers also served. On the same day, just north of Tournai now, a company of the 3rd Grenadier Guards was making a counterattack to rescue a number of men pinned down in a cornfield by German machine gun fire. One of the section leaders, Lance Corporal Harry Nichols, was wounded early on but kept up his attack. Upon reaching Poplar Ridge, the company began taking very heavy fire from German machine guns. Lance Corporal Nichols, armed with a Bren gun, charged the German positions, although he was wounded again, took out three of them. Continuing with his fight, he dashed up to another ridge and took out a large number of German troops massed behind it, only stopping when he'd run out of ammunition and been wounded twice more. Lance Corporal Nichols finally passed out from his injuries and was left behind. His VC citation said he was presumed killed, but he actually lived until the age of 60 in 1975, although his wounds badly hampered him for all of those years. Because he was originally believed dead, the King conducted two investitures for this VC. The first in August 1940, where the decoration was given to his wife, and the second one five years later to the man himself. Fortunately, Company Sergeant Major Gristuck's story does not end quite as happily, as so he died back in Britain in June 1940 of the wounds that he sustained on this day.